Hey guys, we're back here once again. And what I got going on is a whole bunch of RCs as you could tell. This is basically my full arsenal of uh, all the types of RCs that I have, land-based RCs. Of course, I also have a DJI Phantom, not in this video right now. But uh, what I'd like to talk about in this video is the benefits and some of the negatives of going either uh, more brand name. And right here, uh, where I'm pointing to, I have basically all the brand name RCs. I have a Traxxas Slash. This is a Traxxas Mini E Revo, Tamiya Lunchbox uh, Retro Model. This is an HPI Nitro RS4 Drift. And right here, we have more of the uh, non brand name, or let's say some of the, uh, well, none of them are toy, none, of, none are toy grade. Uh, but these are more, more or less the WL Toys, the GP Toys, uh, Arma, um, you know, Dramata, more of the lower end RCs. Um, in terms of what you want as starting out, you can pick up a cheap RC and have a good time with it. That's for a fact. And you know, for instance, I'll just talk about this uh, Exceed Nitro Rally. So this is a two-speed .18 pull start nitro truck. I've had it for more than five years at this point. I have a couple of videos of it running on my channel. It's a great truck, but you know, uh, a blanket rule and a statement you could say applies to more of the low entry type RCs, generally under the $200 range. And that one was, I think about 160 and it's been fine. Uh, parts, you really gotta be careful not to destroy them, not to bash them too hard because if you break a part, uh, mainly like any kind of diff issues, you're gonna have a hard time looking for new parts. You're gonna have to find a way to source the parts. And luckily for me, I've never really broken anything on these, uh, you know, I guess you could say non-brand name RCs where I've had that issue in the past. Um, let's go to this tracks a slash. Now that is probably my favorite RC of this whole bunch. That is a two wheel drive VXL model running a uh, Castle 6700 KV motor with a Castle Sidewinder uh, V2 system. Fantastic RC, a lot of power. You could tell I'm running the huge um, wheels on there. You really need the wheels to kind of get some of the power, some of the speed uh, and, and fun and more ground clearance. So that's the way I chose to go. Right here is probably my second favorite RC. This is a uh, Traxxas Mini E Revo VXL and I'm running the Mini Summit tire. So these are larger than the original tires, but you have a good amount of ground clearance. It's still a fairly lightweight RC. This is a 116 scale. Uh, you could use any type of wheels on here as long as they fit the hub, uh, which is great. I'm running the stock VXL uh, 380 motor in here. I never had any issues and I've upgraded to a 45 amp 10 scale ESC. Uh, runs great. I find that it's actually better than the original Traxxas system. But let's just talk about some of the uh, other RCs we have here. So this is probably one of the most popular current, I guess you could say Chinese non-brand RCs. This is a uh, WL Toys 12th scale rock racer. Uh, has kind of a long model name. I think it's a 14828, something like that. But this is a four wheel drive uh, brushed system and it came fully ready to run with a 2.4 gigahertz radio. It has lights on here. They're not on now, but they do work uh, actually fairly, fairly well. There's six LEDs here and two here. So six in total rather. You have a 2S uh, lithium polymer battery included and it's pretty quick. It hasn't broken thus far and I've even ran a 3S in it, but of course you have a lot of negatives. So suspension wise, it's just terrible. Uh, yes, it has a lot of axle articulation, but the problem is uh, the shocks. They're not oil filled shocks. So of course, anytime you're going any kind of decent normal speed, uh, it's gonna wobble. So it's gonna look like a toy. And uh, a lot of people claim they've broken parts. I haven't broken anything. It's pretty good, but of course you don't want to take this RC to the limit. You will have issues. Um, so that's just something you, you should keep in mind. Price-wise, just ridiculously cheap. Uh, I think I paid like $65 for this shipped, no tax. So you could tell that the difference in terms of just price alone is uncomparable to any brand name RC. Um, let's move on to this Dramata. So this is one of their basic uh, brushless systems. It's pretty nice. It has a micro brushless system in it. Uh, came bundled with a regular six cell uh, battery, not a LiPo, 
but it's, it's quite quick. I also have a couple videos on my channel about this. It's not bad, it handles pretty good. At least it has oil filled chocks. Um, not a bad chassis altogether, I gotta say. I think I paid uh, $90 for this. It was on sale on Tower Hobbies, normally from around 150 bucks. So for under 100 bucks, can't go wrong. Um, so looking at all these RCs, what's my least favorite here? And I'm gonna have to say it's definitely this one. This is a GP Toys. Uh, I'm not sure of the model name, but you could tell it's styled to look like the Traxxas Mini E-Revo here. Now, why do I hate it so much? Um, the damn differential. I hate the differential. You could tell when I spin one wheel, they both spin. It's a fairly tight diff in the back, and of course this is only rear wheel drive. So you know, as I spin the front, nothing happens. It's only rear drive. And not only is it relatively slow, doesn't get the speed anywhere close to what they claim it gets, but it constantly has a hard time turning and steering because the rear diff is just so tight. Okay, so I had a chance to take off the bodies of most of these RCs here. This one is kind of hard to take off. There's a bunch of different mounting holes, uh, but I was able to turn the lights on just so you guys could see the lights. You could tell they're fairly bright and pretty well centered and balanced. Uh, this is one of the main selling points of this WL Toys RC right here, and they're fairly bright. I have my Tamiya lunchbox on. As you could tell, I put on a whole bunch of lights right here. You also have uh, four sets, well, four different LED lights in the back here. It's pretty cool. And you kind of have this uh, metal roof rack. Of course, these are all parts I was able to get on eBay for like 15 bucks. This is an actual metal roof cage here. You could put a wheel, do whatever you want. But this was a full build that I did myself. The kit itself was about $90 in Tower Hobbies, and I decided to pick it up. So, what am I really getting at here? Um, wanted to take over the body of this, basically my least favorite RC, the GP Toys. As you could tell, it looks okay, but the design itself is more or less toy grade. All the electronics are hidden. Um, the only cool thing here is really you do have the metal uh, axles. So that is fairly uh, durable. You have a fully closed in motor, a 370 spec motor, and your battery is right here. Uh, you could open this little cage and it will open up. It came ready to run and everything. As you could tell, the shocks are terrible. They're not oil filled shocks. So, you know, forget about any sort of suspension movement while you're driving at any kind of speed. And of course it gets up to maybe half of the speed they claim that it gets. Uh, so that, that's mainly a disaster. Um, the best thing that you have when it comes to purchasing a brand name RC is you have a potential to upgrade. That's really what you're buying. Um, as a matter of fact, you can actually bundle a lot of your own electronics. As you could tell, I took out my uh, FlySky FS GT3B remote. I use this on multiple RCs. I have it binded to at least four of the RCs I have here. All you need is this $35 remote and about a $7 receiver. You could program it to any car and you're good to go. You have a fantastic radio uh, with a full LCD display. Show you, it lights up. There's a bunch of functions in there. You could select whatever you want. We're not gonna get to the, you know, basically discuss the radio itself, but you could look it up. As I said before, my second favorite RC is this Traxxas Mini E-Revo. So you can see the ESC I have in here, not the original ESC, but it has a lot of power. I never have any issues with it. This is a basic Hobby King 45 amp 10 scale ESC, uh, and it matches perfectly to the system in this, in this car. So can't go wrong there. You have a lot of upgrade potential there. And you have a lot of potential for even cost savings just because the parts are so interchangeable, a lot of these RCs. If something were to happen to one of these non-brand name RCs, you would pretty much have to replace it with a similar part. Uh, I, don't, I don't even know. Well, because these are the non-brand name RCs are generally brushed. So unless you were able to source a brushed ESC, you're gonna have a hard time. Um, Traxxas is really good when it comes to that. The parts are just available everywhere. They're cheap, and you get a lot of fun out of the models themselves. Um, this right here is probably, well, this used to be one of my favorite RCs. It, it actually is to this day. The only problem is that the body's a little cracked. You could tell as I go like this, it just flexes. But this is, I think, currently the fastest RC I have. This is running uh, a Castle, let's see what it is. I think it's a 6700. Uh, KV motor in the back so this is as powerful as they get for 10 scale RC's uh, you could do up to 
a thousand, well, what is it, a hundred RP, a hundred thousand RPM. And just so you guys know what I mean by powerful, look at the ESC. This is a, I think this is like a fifth scale, maybe, well, not even an eighth. It's even bigger than an eighth scale ESC. This is a 120 amp. No, I think 150 amp ESC from uh, Tower Hobbies. It is 6S capable. So it's enormous. I never had any issues. You know, if you're going to use this kind of a motor setup and basically put in a truck like this, I got to say, other than maybe ruining a spur gear or two over you know a couple years time the transmission not one time let me down not one time and this was a stock uh stampede i think this was even an xl5 version so it wasn't even the original vxl system in it but otherwise it's great all you need is some basic rpm parts i really only have the rpm front bumper and the rpm a arms in the front uh, otherwise, nothing has ever broken, uh, and it's a great, great RC. I mainly like the two-wheel drive models only because of their simplicity. Um, that's why I have the two-wheel drive Stampede and the two-wheel drive Slash VXL. But, like I said, um, you know, if you're just getting into the hobby, getting a cheap RC is not then the world. You still will have a good time, but obviously the learning curve will be quick, and you'll be bored soon. Uh, there's almost zero upgrade potential unless uh, unless you want to spend money on a whole new motor system because obviously if you get a brushed version of an RC uh, yes you will have to get a brushless motor and a brushless ESC at that um, a lot of times they also include the receiver and the ESC unit is a is a is a basically a two-in-one design uh, such as the case here so if you wanted to upgrade the motor system, you would have to upgrade the radio system as well. That's, that's a, a large issue. Um, let's talk about the Arma. The Arma right here, I took the body off. You could tell the design is very nice. The shocks are good actually. The original tires were good. I just replaced the rears just because I didn't want to ruin the, the original tires. Um, I wanted a little more traction with the wide stance there. But Arma is a great RC, although it, it is just so slow. Um, it feels like it has a lot of torque, but the motors they use, they're just ultra, ultra low RPM motors. I've, you know, I, I would say that this, this one is equally as fast as that Arma with a fully charged uh, two cell LiPo. I mean, it's just terrible. They're really not that cheap. Yes, they are under 200 bucks, um, but you will have to upgrade the motor system in the future. That's just my personal opinion. Um, I used to have a brushless Arma and, and I hated it. The whole system was just bad, it was glitchy. I, I got rid of it as fast as I could. Um, Traxxas and HPI, really the way to go, but that's if you're looking to spend in the 300 and over uh, dollar range there. Or, you know, if you just want a cool little gadget to like bash around with sometimes but not really kill it, you can get one of the Exceed models right there. Uh, not a bad truck altogether, nothing really ever broke, but of course I take it easy on that. Uh, but there it is guys. This is my uh, RC squadron as you will uh, If you have any questions about anything in terms of these RC's that I have any kind of uh, you know Details, I'll be more than happy to let you know and thanks so much for watching if you like videos of this kind or want to see a further one in more detail Please let me know in the comments down below till next time